Are you ready to testify? Yes, God. Keep it cute or put it on you. Hey, what's up, pups? It's C Maddox, bitch. And today I'm here to give you some knowledge. Now, the definition of testify is to publicly make a declaration of fact or truth under oath. Now, I have no issue with someone having to testify. Sometimes things just get up in your spirit and you got to speak your truth. Or sometimes you get pulled into court and you got to testify on the stand. Now, I've always had an issue with people having to swear on the Bible. Now, the reason why I have an issue with this is, one, there's supposed to be separation of church and state. Am I right or am I right? So, why is a state establishment bringing church to the testimony? And secondly, not everybody even believes in the Bible. Different religions have their different religious books, and some people are just plain atheists. So, swearing on the Bible doesn't really mean crap to them. I believe that we should make people swear on whatever is dearest to them. Now, did you know that the word testify comes from a time where men had to swear on their testicles? Now that is a good idea. Because we all know that men hold their family jewels to the highest of standards. So if every man had to swear on his testicles, testify, he might be more inclined to tell the truth. I think we should go back to that. Bring that back. Make every man swear on their testicles. And while we're at it, make all women swear on their ovaries. So we're gonna have testify and ovary fry. <coughs> Excuse me, we're having testicle difficulties. Now I bet you didn't know that, did ya? So until next time, keep it cute or put it on mute. Mind fucked. Haters, <laughs> they should open a furniture store, have several seats, and call that your business. <laughs>